Good morning, below zero people, Subnautica people, Valheim people, No Man's Sky people, Steam people, Facebook people, uh, Yahoo people, Gmail people. I'm not saying hey to anyone else. Hello, YouTube. That's it. No one else gets hellos from me. Well, except for one extra person. Zef Nolly. Hi. Hi, Zef Nolly. Today's video is going to be a public service announcement. Alrighty. This is the last comment. How appropriate. This is the one we're going to be looking at. He quotes Darth Cervantes. This game is great. Why does everyone want it to be exactly like the first one? My only wish is that it were bigger. I get that they crammed more into a smaller space, but I want something as big as the first, but as full and diverse as Below Zero. I also want a million dollars and many other things, but we can't always get what we want. We can make suggestions, though. It's a real shame that they are working on a different game before making a third Subnautica. I want more. And here's his post continued. Zefnoli replies, finally, someone who doesn't only look at the game and complains about it being woke. Whatever these guys mean by that. Hey, Zefnoli, public service announcement. Couple of uh, posts back in this thread, he wants to know. Guys, point out the wokeness. You, everyone complains about it being woke, but where's the wokeness? And he's fine with someone that uh, who looks who, who who looks at the game and doesn't just complain about it being woke. You know, it's, it's kind of like it's got something to do with why do you see wokeness everywhere? Why is it a problem? Well, you know, this is because it's coming from the other side as well. People on the left. They look everywhere and they see racism everywhere. They look at the Muppets, they see racism. You guys look at Dr. Seuss and you see racism. You guys look at Looney Tunes, you see Pepe Le Pew, you see fucking Daffy Duck and Yosemite Sam, Foghorn Leghorn. Y'all see Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny and y'all like, oh, that's racist. That's a problem. You guys look at uh, the game community, you get angry social justice warrior types that don't even play these video games to complain about, there's a woman in this video game and she's got big titties. That's sexist, because everyone knows real women don't have big titties. You people complain about any time there is a movie, a TV show, or a comic book. Anytime someone draws an attractive woman, you complain about it. Anytime there's a beautiful woman on TV in a movie, oh, oh, you're objectifying the woman. You're looking at her through the male gaze. That's sex. You guys complain about everything. You see racism everywhere. Someone does the okay hand signal. Hey, man, how are you feeling? I'm A-OK, -okay, right? You do that A-OK -okay hand signal. Oh, that's a, that's a dog whistle. The A-OK -okay is a racist white supremacist symbol. You guys, you guys see racism everywhere. When some people's like, Oh, well, I don't like this because it's woke. Why do you act like it's such a strange phenomenon? For everything that you say is racist, we point out, we'd be like, Well, that's woke. Just wanted to point this out to Zeph Nolly because he seemed genuinely confused about where's the wokeness and why is everyone complaining about the wokeness? Well, it's because your kind's been running around complaining about everything being racist, so we got to fight back. I mean, how do we fight back? We got to play your own game. I'm only four minutes in. Let me read a little bit more on this guy's post. Can't wait to play it at release, and I am, for one, glad it's not like the first one. It's kind of like how I would expect the sequel to Subnautica take place on the planet after humans have started doing research. There's not much of a different way to do it. Oh, there's many ways that y'all could have done a Subnautica sequel. Altera could have sent someone back to the planet to salvage the Aurora. 
or to salvage any of the other, um, to salvage the Nagasi, or to go back to the crater to study all the Altera, uh, all the Altera facilities. But no, no, Unknown Worlds is like, hey, let's go to Sector Zero and build a smaller game. Let's let's build a couple alien outposts that don't make sense. That's what that's where Altera is going to send them through, not back to the crater. I don't know. I'm skimming this guy's first paragraph. Everyone wants to play as Fred. For what? He lived while Altera still paid people to be there. While Altera still likely sent re you could hypothetically have the story or No, you couldn't you couldn't do that about the guy in the prequel trailer from the first game. You couldn't do that for Bart Tolkien because he fucking died. This guy's got a problem with people wanting to play as Fred. This guy has a problem with someone not wanting to play as a black lesbian. Hey, y'all show him the trailer with Fred in it. And people want to play Fred. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? If I see a trailer for a game, and there's a character in that game that's surviving and meant to be, it's like, hey, this is you. This is the player character. This is what you're going to go through. I expect to play as that fucking character. But y'all didn't put your black character in your, your trailer. All was wrong. Oh, what's wrong? Y'all didn't want to animate a beautiful, gorgeous black woman in 4K? Aww. Final paragraph. Nothing to say. What a wonderful comment. What a wonderful topic. Concern for the community. There's only 37 comments. I'm disappointed. I hope to see more by the end of the week. You guys have a wonderful day. Hey, hey. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, I got a map. Okay, I remember that. Yeah, I got my mashup medley. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to go play some Power Rangers now. You guys have a nice day.